Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. And in this tutorial, I want to look more on dynamic geometry. So we used it before, and when we create it, we actually click on the lighting and kind of meld together objects. But this is a very powerful tool, and I think you're ready right now to explore it and see what we can have it, um, what benefits it will give it to us. So let's go to the lines and we'll just select polyline and we'll create first profile for our object just create something it doesn't matter what just maybe lines like this let's create shape and we'll just create from the circle you know what let's make 24 a little bit smaller okay and drop it on the ground So the one thing that will help you also in this case, if you um, align this point to this one, so you will know it will go around. Okay, now let's go select um, shape, we'll go to surface modeling and we'll click on extrude line and we'll select our profile. So here what we have it and so kind of interesting so let's press enter to validate and now when we have it object mode selected we'll click on our object one thing what do you notice right now you have a dynamic geometry and you have it your curves here which is by clicking on one curve you can select it so this is the object is not like melt together molded together so you can um in one piece this is still be in a stage that you can modify and this is very useful as long as you continue working so for example it's not what I wanted so I go to points I can click on them and select and you can see in real time how my object is modifying right now so after you create geometry you can come back and you say you know what this is not exactly what I wanted. I want to create more like maybe wine glass. And before it did not look at all. So there you go. You just adjust by using curve out operation you're done. But it's become even better. So you can have it, for example, go above. Let's go to our object. We'll go to the top one. And you know what? Hmm. I want to add maybe some thickness to this. So let's click on the thickness. And I want to select inside thickness, so it will go from outside inside. And let's create about maybe this thick. So here you go, we have it our thickness apply. And even more, you know. For example, now you want to go and add smoothness to this. So we'll click on this. The one of what's happening right now also, you notice they are kind of come together the mold and go on to next step to um, avoid this what we're going to do okay let me select the object again okay right here so we'll go back let's click on this one I just want to start go back right now We'll go again to um, thickness, select thickness, and if I click on a smoothness, what's happening to your side, they kind of merge together. One thing you need to change your uh, dynamic geometry mode from restrict to full. So in this case, if right now I'm going here and I'm going to increase smoothness, smoothness will apply and it will just continue going on a tree, so the full uh, dynamic geometry give it us more flexibility and more going in a tree in a way. So let's increase one more time. And here we have it, our cup. Again, a couple things. Still remember, you still have it, your curves here. So if you want it, you can go back and you can still modify them as well. Okay. 
Turismo got top. And there you go. So this is an actual very big plus when you're using dynamic geometry. The width draw with that is only that um, applications need to remember all those stages. And by doing this, it will take a little bit more memory. So if you have a very complex scene with a lot of, of the dynamic geometry objects, you will have a problem with the memory. It will become slow respond application and other stuff. Other minus is also not every application you can perform on this. Example, if I'm going, um, let's go to this form right here, and I click, for example, on the close, what is happening? It says cannot apply on dynamic geometry. So not every operation you can also apply by doing, by being dynamic geometry. So you have some limitations what you can do here. But overall, if you right now will go on our top form and go to file, export, OBG, it will export in this form as um, you have it on dynamic geometry. So if you want to modify afterwards, you can go back or if you save it, it's not totally kind of meld together in one form. Other things also, let's look right here. What do we have it? If you click on this kind of lighting icons, this is will melt the steps and will create form. So if we do this way, now this is our lowest we can go. Okay. The next icon, it is um, kind of undo, but it's not undo in a way how you press Ctrl Z and you go one step at a time. This is will undo all of that um, option you just apply to the object. So example, if I did a different modifications on this level, and I click on this button to um, remove this operation. It will undo everything what I was done on this um, in this layer. So it's meaning on this case, if I modify something here, I go back here, remove this one. This is still be remember. It will just remove only this step. Okay. And again, when you're done and you want to fix the form, just click lighting. So now it's all kind of all this oppression mold in one. And you have it your one object, you can use it. Okay, let's press Ctrl Z to go a step back from our combining together. Also, other things what is happening, and I should want to show you our additional nice flexibility. If you want to add additional sections to this one, we can go to our line. We can go to um, insert points and you can also insert points here and you can notice how this is will affect overall our object. So now we have additional segments that we can manipulate with and adjust if we feel likely a bit more. And again, you can notice the best part about dynamic if we have all this Smoothing applied, we apply all other options like thickness. We still can control with just our profile with the curve. We can still even control on this level. Okay. And this is about dynamic geometry. Try to create different objects. Try to modify them and um, adjusting and see how this tool is work and again thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com